the devil is in New Orleans. Calm down, son. Get your breath. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned, grievously sinned. Sign of the cross, son. I'm a drunk, Lord. I'm a liar. I'm a thief, Lord. I profit off the miseries of other men and I do it easy. Drugs, liquor, women. I lord a man and grab what they got, Lord. A few years ago, in 2019, I did a video telling people about something that I had planned to talk about or something that I had planned to put out there. I found it in my files, but I don't see it on this channel, though. I think maybe I deleted it or retitled, some, retitled it something. I can't remember. I don't know. But I do remember Robin commented on it and he said that he wanted to hear it. And I was saying that I wanted to tell people what I think should be happening or what people should do in regards to what was going on at that time. And I did. I started working on it. And I'm sure y'all can tell that I put my videos together piece by piece. And I'd say that I got maybe 80% of it done. And I was in no rush either. Then months into it, they let the bug out on us. And, and yeah, I'll continue to describe it as something that was let out on us. Because that's how it happened. Dr. Fauci, knowing that it is a crime to lie to Congress, do you wish to retract your statement of May 11th where you claimed that the NIH never funded gain-of-function research in Wuhan? Senator Paul, I have never lied before the Congress, and I do not retract that statement. This paper that you are referring to was judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain of function. So what was, saying, let me take, finish. You take an animal virus and you increase it. Because that's how it happened. Right. You're saying and I see it being brought up in Congress by people like and, Rand Paul and, and, and a few others, but it's being brought up in a way that suggests uh, gross negligence instead of the deliberate and on purpose that it actually was. Right, but I get, you, I, you know, I guess that's better than nothing. Maybe they're taking baby steps before they get to the deliberate and on purpose part. I don't know. But I got quite a bit of it done. And when they let the bug out, I, you know, I didn't pay no, you know, when they first let it out, I didn't pay no real attention as far as conspiracies go. Because I thought it was just another virus, you know, like we have flu season or, you know, they'll find a Zika virus. You know, the regular stuff that goes on, on and off every year. But then the extent of what it was started to come out. I didn't really pay it no mind at first. Then I saw everything that I had recorded slowly but surely. I found it to be uh, unsuitable because I saw our unelected kings and queens just doing away with everything that was routine for us. I was looking at how everything I wanted to talk about wasn't going to work. It just wasn't. So I started deleting pieces. If piece after piece became trash, unapplicable to what I was seeing going on and what I was seeing happening on Earth, not just here in the United States, on Earth. And all that was left was my let's all hold hands thing. I put that video up. It's on here. I even tag it in the description boxes of all my videos. I call it the only solution. But as far as how to get there, I have no idea. I used to have ideas about it, but not no more. And this commentary is kind of like the one I did a week or two ago on my other channel, letting people know that I understand. I understand what it means to be insistent on a position, even though that position might be detrimental or turn out to be dangerous. And I said that I felt that I needed to do a video uh, explaining that before I continue to talk shit about people. Come on, doodles. All right, this video is a bit, it's a bit different as far as the part about being consistent, but it's the same as far as me feeling that I need to put this out here before I continue to talk shit about other people's suggestions as a solution to what's going on these days. I don't have one. I only have that one thing and no way to get there. But I will continue to talk down on people's crazy ideas because do I really need to have a plan before I could recognize what sounds crazy? Right, I don't think so. Robin put a comment on a video I did recently and he said something that reminded me of one of these crazy ideas that I be going in on. And what Robin said wasn't crazy. I said what he said reminded me of something that was crazy. And Robin said that he has a garden but it's not enough to sustain his needs. And that reminded me of this. Really it's not hidden. 
And what's going on around the world is the same thing that's happening in the U.S. Now, regarding the food, I brought up several times what they were doing with the farms, what they were doing with different instances that they were slowing the supply chains, how they were you know, messing up the supply chains over at all the ports in the United States, that they were paying the farmers in the U.S. to leave their ground unplanted. They are paying them more than they would have made selling the crops to make sure that they did not plant. They're going around the country to save us all from all these baby chickens that could infect us all. And so this is what's going on. And I was bringing up the fact that we're going to have a food shortage long before we actually had any you know, idea that this was going to be happening. And here it is. Here it is because this is what they wanted. It makes it so much easier to control everyone as long as they can make them all starving and have to go to the government for some sort of food voucher. Because that's the ultimate control, right? If you have to go and line up to get your voucher to be able to eat, you're going to do whatever it takes for the most part because some people won't have a choice living in the big cities they're like a giant food desert you know a lot of people there don't know how to grow food there's not a lot of space actually there is a lot of space you could pretty much feed an entire city with the amount of space they have on rooftops most of the time it's just people don't have the knowledge grow on whose roof i asked him the clip that you just heard that i just played his channel name is called the silver report and i'll put that video in the description box but i asked him on the comment board Whose roof? Grow on somebody else's roof. On the property owner's roof. And for an apartment build and for apartment buildings full of people, how big are these roofs gonna be? Right, and listen, I don't think that I need to have an alternative blueprint in my pocket in order to know that what he said sounds ridiculous. Right. And yes, I'm purposely ignoring the context he was speaking in about how he said uh, feed a whole city and the other stuff, because he's done other videos about growing in tiny spaces like this video. Wait, let me see. Like this one right here titled. This is one of his videos It's titled feed yourself in one week without any space, even in the city, how to grow sunflower microgreens so yes i'm ignoring his context about the rooftops i'm ignoring it because he said similar stuff like that before in other videos but i understand i especially understand the tone in his voice that sounded like desperation and panic and these are desperate times and there's plenty of things going on these days to panic about or be fearful of, or to be fearful of like i was talking about in the other video that those things could lead to uh, irrational thoughts and actions sometimes. So that's all. Before I continue going in on crazy ideas, I just wanted to be known that I don't have one. I don't have an alternative. But I do know what sounds crazy. Like the get out of the matrix. I've already separated from the beast system and y'all need to do the same as I did, people. Them. Them people. They're not going anywhere. I listened to a dude today who says he's out of the beast system talking about how nervous he was waiting for his background check to be approved by the beast that he's not a part of. Bought a shotgun. A Mossberg. Showed it laying there on the bed in the box though. But needed approval from the beast to get something to protect your own self. You're out there on your land building stuff. Why not build a... a uh, a catapult to repel intruders. Or why not fashion a spear, a bow and arrow, uh, and a shield made of wood? Why not make a zip gun out of wood with a 9 volt battery? Hey, it, those things kill people too. Why need approval from the Matrix to defend yourself? I'm talking about God's chosen. He's at it again and insulting people's intelligence. And I need to stop talking about him. I said I wasn't going to keep talking about him. I'm going to lay off of him for a while, before, you know, before it gets to the level of uh, harassment and, and stalking. But anyway, like I said, I don't know either. Right? And I just wanted to put that out there, especially before I show you David Ike. David Ike don't know either, and he got caught on the spot not knowing. This time, it, it was hilarious. Right? And what happened was, and what happened, it was nothing new to me. I've said that about David a few times on this channel already. The only thing that was due to me was that this time it happened on a live stream. It happened live. I mean, even I uh, have been shocked to, to watch it, but I've just been watching a video of uh, Justin Trudeau condemning the destruction of uh, freedom and human rights in Ukraine, right? Um, 
And so what he did in, um, in Canada was a classic. This is how it works, what I've just described. If you are in uh, a, a Canadian and you're doing what the government wants and you're behaving in the way the government wants and you're staying in what I call the postage stamp consensus of, um, of reality, then you will think you're free because it seems that you are. No one's stopping you doing what you uh, want to do because what you're doing is what the government want you to do. But as we've seen in the recent weeks, once you step out of that and you start to want real freedom as opposed to the illusion of freedom, then the system comes down on you like a ton of bricks. And that, this is what's happening throughout people's lives. I mean, vast majority of people do. They go from cradle to grave with almost never having an original thought because they're constantly bombarded with this repetition of what they need to believe. And because, well, you know, I, 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 why should I question anything? What do I know? I mean, the experts know, surely. Scientists know, surely. They're clever and academics and all that stuff. Well, I've got news for you. Most of them don't bloody know. They're just repeating, just like you are, uh, the population, what they're told. There was David in his usual routine, and I'll have the full video in the description box. Now, the dude that he's on the live stream, well, well, actually, it's two dudes he's on the stream with, but one of the dudes he's on the stream with is going to ask him something. Listen to me, a little bitch. And he's going to tell David, we already know this stuff. And here well, David's response, and I'm not going to edit it, so David's answers. response is going to be about three Understand? minutes worth of, I don't know. What they're told. Well, and, da and David, we see these quote-unquote experts come from this degraded, immoral basis, right, of the occults and all this stuff. And it almost seems like because of that, this it's it's getting so ridiculous. You know, we hear this word clown world, right, where it's clown world out there. And it's becoming such a joke, I think, to people, especially in Alpha Beta community here. Like, I don't know anyone in our community that watches CNN or these channels really anymore except to kind of laugh at it. So for yeah. the the community here that are already getting this, what can you say to them in terms of the solution for stepping out from their perception? Because I still think we get caught up in these rabbit holes and trying to see these things. And, you know, I, I want to... I want to move to this because I think a lot of people in the chat here are wondering, well, okay, we already know all this. Now what can we do? And I think it's important for me, my, uh, what I say is decentralize your spirituality, decentralize all everything in your life, opt out, but also realize that we are still connected and it's important for us to um, figure out ways to create community and all that, So, which would be great to understand. But yeah, for the people in the chat here going, okay, we know this. What's the next step? Where we go now? What do you say to that? Well, in the end, you know, <laughs> everything comes down um, to, your, to your state of consciousness. And in so many ways, if not in the foundation way, that comes down to your self-identity. And, you know, I hear, you know, lots of, lots of people get things, but I still see um, a lot of people who get certain things who still get pulled in. Um, and it's important to, to stay aware of when you're getting pulled in uh, because it's very easy to do so. I mean, it's, 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 it's very easy when you're seeing what's happening in Ukraine uh, to, to get pulled into good guys and bad guys when actually the same, uh, same cult is controlling both sides. Um, but, you know, if you're going uh, deeper into this, it all comes down in the end to self-identity. And your self-identity, in my view anyway, uh, dictates your level of consciousness, You're the, the, the consciousness that you are connecting with. So if you uh, look at those people that I'm, um, I'm talking about, the postage stamp consensus people who um, are manipulated, I feel for them, you know, 
it's not a condemnation. It's just the way the system works. It's very powerful on the psyche when it's all you hear. Um, they um, overwhelmingly will see themselves in limited terms and they will, because of their download, perceive themselves through the labels of a human life. And the whole foundation, like I said, of uh, human control is to um, get people to perceive everything, including the eye, from a five sense perspective. And so if you can get people to self-identify with the labels of a human life, like I am a man, I am a woman, I am, you know, something in between, I am um, uh, this sexuality, that sexuality, this inca bracket, that inca bracket, this race, that race, this religion, that religion. Well, when people are perceiving the eye through those labels, they are in five sense uh, reality because they're five sense labels uh, and they are not who we are. They are experiences that the true eye consciousness is having. But the idea for mass control is to persuade people, manipulate people into believing that they are their labels. They are what they are. Um, and so, again, if, we, if we're talking about um, removing the cause rather than looking for solutions, the solution to everything that is, um, or the removing the cause of the problem to, to that which is about self-identification with a human entity, with a human labels, is not to have that self-identity, but to self-identify with being consciousness. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Just say you don't know, man. Just say you don't know. Just say you don't know what we're supposed to do now that we already know about all these things that's happening. Just say it. I bought the beer. So that's all I had to say about this uh, solution thing. A bottle of beer. Who has one? At 11.15. Yeah, at 11.15. Yeah, 11.15. Yeah, I... S no, you're not fucked up, Josh. No, Josh. <laughs> no, you're not fucked up. 